Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, then just welcome. So I figured for the next couple of episodes, I want to start up my Zodiac series. It was a series where I had started it two years ago and I gotten through 10 out of the 12 Zodiac signs and then I just got burnt out and I didn't wanna do it anymore. But I am in a better headspace and I'm ready to continue. The two zodiac signs that I didn't finish were Sagittarius and Capricorn. So I figured the best place to start is those two because I do need to technically finish before I start revamping all of the old versions of what I had drawn. Because yes, I'm going to be redoing all of them, but I needed to complete it first if that makes sense. So I decided to go ahead and start with Capricorn because I actually had a design in mind. And so that's what I'm working on today. And if anyone's wondering where I'm getting the colors from for the Zodiac palettes, I am Googling and trying to get the best colors that reflect the Zodiac sign. So when I looked up Capricorn, I saw a lot of um, pale greens or like um, the minty pastel green and navy blue and the grays. And normally those are not the colors that I like to have fun with, but there's a first time for everything. And I also noticed while I was Googling, there was a lot of Capricorn women representation for Capricorn art. In my heart, I knew I wanted to draw a male. I, it was already written in the stars a year ago. I felt it in my gut, so I went with my gut. Normally when I draw mer people in any fashion, I normally just draw the, the scales and the fin and hope for the best. The fins I have no problem with, but the scales, they always come out looking weird to me. So I actually tried this method that I saw online. It was uh, a grid system and I have to say as a note for any artist out there, someone who's trying to draw a mermaid fin, it works. I did happen to add some lines in between the basic grid because my brain just wasn't catching those scales to make them even. But when I added those extra lines in between, my scales came out pretty even. And I used the glow pen to draw the scales and the grid. And the scales are on a completely different layer than the, the grid itself. Once I finished with the grid, I got rid of that and I kept the scales and I went on ahead and shaded it with the Salamanca brush. And I was shading with the light portion first and then I went back in with the darker portion underneath so it gave it depth, made it seem like the scales were standing up on top of each other. So if anyone's interested, that method actually does work. Well, I do believe I've rambled on quite a bit, so I'm gonna sit back and relax and let you relax and enjoy this Capricorn art. And I'll be back towards the end. Enjoy.
Well, that is the end of this week's episode of Capricorn Art, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. All that good stuff to help my tiny little channel grow. It is all deeply appreciated, and I thank you so much. Remember, I do have a TikTok page and also a coffee page. And remember, with the coffee page, you can set up for commissions. You can leave tips, comments, all the love and support. I appreciate all of it. So thank you in advance. I will be back next week with another Zodiac episode. So stay tuned. I love you all and I will see you next week. Bye.